All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rechakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to your sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. All right, and um, I just wanted to uh, bring out this song, a uh, very spiritual song. And it just shows you that, uh, you know, our people, you know, they, they, they have a zeal, like the scriptures say. I'm going to get that in a second. They have a zeal of righteousness. All right, but um, as far as the ways of the Lord, they have not necessarily known them. In uh, Matthew 15 and 8, it says, This people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. And when you look in the church, that's really all you see nowadays, man. Things that are the commandments of men. Right? Especially in the, the uh, in all the churches. In the Catholic Church, the, with the Baptist Church, which is an offshoot of the Catholic Church. and Or whatever Protestant church. Or whatever church, man. Right? It's, it's full of the commandments of men. Right? Doctrines and things that people have made up. That men have commanded, which are not in the Bible. All right now, this lesson is uh, kind of going um, towards the side of uh, Jake has a zeal of righteousness. All right, they have a zeal, which is Romans ten and two. All right, a zeal is excitement of mind. Okay, fervor of spirit. All right. Matter of fact, verse 1, Romans 10 and 1, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. And that's the thing about the Heavenly Father. You have to serve Him. Well, let me get that scripture. John 7 and 38. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow River, rivers of living water. And like I said, he that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, all right, our people, like I said, so-called blacks, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans, all right, going through country by country, Jamaicans, Haitians, uh, you know, uh, um, Mexicans, uh, um, so-called uh, so blacks, uh, you know, Hondurans, Guatemalans, Panamanians, Colombians, you know, West Indians, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, uh, I'm sure I'm missing somebody, Native Americans, you know, whatever tribe, Seminole, whatever tribe they're spread to, or, or uh, um, you know, other other name that they've taken on. Because a lot of tribes, they, they change their name to, or Esau, you know, change their names. Um, you know, whatever part of, you know, Argentinians, Brazilians, whatever. They have a zeal for the Heavenly Father, but not according to knowledge. But you have to worship the Heavenly Father. Like he said, he, he that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said. All right. As the scripture has said. So we have to worship the Father through the name of him, the Heavenly Father and his Son, according as the scripture has said. We're going to worship and praise him, according as the scripture has said. We're going to believe in the history of the Bible and the connection of the Old and New Testament, as the scripture has said. We're going to believe in prophecies, which are going to happen, okay? We're going to go out and we're going to teach on the highways and byways, in season and out of season, as the scripture have said. Right? And that's why we say, man, there's one doctrine, there's one way, there's one father, okay? There's one son of the living power. Of course, we're all, we're all sons and daughters of the heavenly father, but there's one uh, um, um Son, you know, there's one son of man. There's one only begotten son. Okay, there's one 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 mediator, one Lord, one Savior, over us. And then we have one King. We have King David, who, who's uh, who was promised a, uh, an eternal house. All right, and he's gonna be there, uh, ruling under under Yahweh Shai. All right, do you have uh, us? And then you know the the men of Israel. All right, whatever order we might be in. Uh, starting with the 12, and then you have Israel, the men, you know, which are the Lord God, kings, priests of Israel. And then, you know, you have everyone else, the the, the, the helpers, the, the families, you know. It's, it's all one. 
It's all it's all connected. But if we're gonna all be one and we all gonna be connected, then like it says, as the scripture have said, that's the thing that that when you watch a great millstone video, that's gonna differ differ it from any other group because we go off of what the scripture have said. But I want to get into this song. I uh, thought it was very spiritual. Uh, go through a little bit of Hebrew. All right. Um, and this song, you know, is very spiritual. You know, we might we might bring this one back in the kingdom. We might, you know, got to tweak it a little bit, but we might bring this one back. And uh, fair YouTube, fair use. You know, I don't own any rights to it, anything like that. Come on, put your hands together, everybody. That's what we came to do tonight. We came to bless the Lord. And everybody, let's sing it together. Shabbat. I thought the song was very interesting because it actually uses, you know, they actually get close to the Hebrew in the song. Right? I looked up the song, uh, the origins of the song, and the first uh, first place I saw it, Shabbat by Walt Whitman and the Soul Children of Chicago. And I believe it was written in like, uh, credit for it is from like 1996. Oh, 1995. Okay, yes, yeah, so like 1995. All right. 1995, and I'm gonna just go through a couple of these words because this is the this is the kind of uh, when we get to the kingdom. This is the kind of songs we're gonna be singing, man. We're gonna be blessing the Lord, praise the Lord, and I'm back in our in our pure pure tongue, in our pure language. And that word there, Shabbat, Shabbat, to address in a loud tone, to to commend glory. Keep in praise. And when you look through the Psalms, aka the songs, that's all you see, man. Bless the Lord who who give us, you know, benefits daily. You know, bless his, his name. We can never go far enough. All right. There's a lot of synonyms for, for praise in here. All right. We have to remember to do that, man. Praise the Lord in, 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 in good and bad. All right. Continue to call upon his name. Continue to, to, uh, to raise your hands and pray to him. And that's the style you see, you know, throughout the scriptures when it tells you to pray. You know, lift your hands up. And in some situations it says, it says to stand uh, before the Lord. I uh, uh, was in Mark 11 and 25. Uh, when you pray, you know, when you stand praying. But then in uh, what says Luke 22, 41, it says, and he was withdrawn from them and kneeled down and prayed. <laughs> and so you can kneel and pray. And then, of course, in Matthew 26 and 39, it mentions, it says he went a little further and fell on his faith. You know, he, uh, the scriptures mention uh, prostrating yourself. Uh, many times you, you hear uh, one of the prophets doing that, man. I fell down before the Lord. I fell down upon my face. I fall down, you know, before his feet. And these are all, you know, part of prayer. All right. Uh, next word. And again, you know, this word, you know, goes into praise. Um, if my lips shall praise thee. Triumph. A lot of these words are, uh, are, are synonymous with different other words, too. And it says, what? Well, Shabbat. Hallelujah. Right, everybody says, you know, this is this is Jake in the church. This is their favorite word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But what does hallelujah mean? Because you know, it's not actually uh, written in the scriptures as hallelujah. You know, that's uh, Hebrew. And in the pure Hebrew, um, which Shabbat, that was, that was uh, more or less correct. But then here, Psalms 148 and 1, it says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. And when you look up that through the Hebrew, you can go to the text. All right, what does it say? Halal, 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 wah, 
Ya. Hello, wa, ya. Praise ye the Lord. Hello, wa, ya. Okay, hello, wa. The wa, the suffix at the end, means praise him. And then ya, we know it's short form for the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh. Praise he, Yahweh. All right, hello, hello, wa, ya. Hallelujah. That's Shabbat. Halawaya. That's why I said a lot of these, you know, different songs, you know, Jake gets into the zeal, or they can carry a tune very well, but uh they have to be tweaked, you know, with the with the with the pure Hebrew. We gotta, we gotta have to tweak them a little bit. You know, but we'll see. You know what I'm saying? And we'll get the breakdown on a lot of these different songs because uh, you know, it's part of being a priest, you know, there was a certain uh portion of uh uh um being uh, of, of musical training, right? Of, of musical training. You had people who were good on the horn, you know, and then that had other functions too. You had good who, people who were good on the strings. You had people who were good, you know, but whatever um, uh, um, instrument, you know, many, many uh, musical instruments in the scripture, they, you know, they, they don't all come to mind at once, but you know, everything that we have today is based on on that. Okay, the horns, the strings, the drums, the 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 the, um, the the flute, I believe, that's in that too. The flute, I mentioned the flute and all these different, you know, woodwinds and and brass instruments or, or whatever they're made of, because horns were made of uh, it was an actual horn at a certain time. <laughs> all right, this is uh, this is Barak, you know, Barak. It's another way of saying. Praise too, but it also means to kneel by implication to bless the Most High as an act of adoration. Right? Um, let's salute. To bless, to kneel. Right? Yeah. Like, like, like from uh, Luke 22 and 41. You know, we kneel before the Heavenly Father. Right, to kneel down before the Most High. Come, O oh come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. Yeah, that's why I like the blue letter, man. You can even go and you can see the different applications of the word. You don't have to necessarily click off. All right, but you get the point. And it shows you the context of how everything you know is used. All right, Shabbat, Hallelujah, Halawiyah, Barak. And, it, it, and I'm not gonna play the whole thing. Uh, you can go and listen to it on YouTube. <laughs> fair use, fair use. It says Yada, extend your hands. Toda, lift up your hands. Taqwa, hey, Yada. It's another Hebrew word. <laughs> and they they're pretty much getting these spot on too. You know whoever. Whoever got this, either they were, um, they had some sort of training in the scriptures or, you know, who knows? Could have been one of them Israelites who knew they were Israelite. People knew they were Israelite, but then, you know, let's let's go ahead over to Israel. Right, it says, uh, Yada, to use, to hold out your hand, especially to revere or worship with extended hands extensively. To bemoan. To throw, shoot, cast. To give thanks, praise, to confess. Mm. Mm -mm. And this is why we give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, man. They they uh they made the blue letter hot. Everybody, everybody and their mama is on the blue letter now.